Hello ladies and gentlemen, Hollow Tide here, and today I want to talk about one of the biggest additions that 343 has added into Halo Infinite, and I guess changed, and that is the networking fix, quote unquote. Now there's some interesting things going on behind the scenes with this, and with easy anti-cheat being added into the, the game, although it's not currently enabled, I believe, I wonder if this is kind of going to go hand in hand with that. Now for those who didn't know, they added a new networking model into Firefight and said that if it was received well, that they would move it into a experimental conversation combat workshop playlist to see how the community you know felt about it well the reception in firefight was overwhelmingly positive and because of that they have added in the squad battle workshop playlist which utilizes the new but some would say old networking model i say old because it seems like it's a legacy model that was used in halo 5 now we're going to talk about that later on in the video and what that means and how it also comes with a set of cons as well that being said if you all enjoy halo content make sure you subscribe to the channel we are grinding away towards 15,000 subscribers. I would greatly appreciate it. If you enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like because it helps me in the algorithm. And let's continue on. So while I did feel like the connection was a little bit better and shots seemed to register just, you know, better overall, there were some things that I felt were not working correctly. There's some glitches, some things that just don't really work well, some aim assist issues with things with like rockets. But overall, the game does feel more responsive. There are some issues with vehicles like the wasp will just like constantly switch back and forth from the missile to the machine gun mode. I also feel like rockets and the skewer are not as good. I do feel like vehicles when you know utilizing them especially the land vehicles are much smoother overall. Grenades also seem to have a throwing delay based on how good your connection is and that's kind of weird. And again this all seems to be taken from Halo 5 so some of the issues that were present in that game are going to be present now. Hopefully it's something that they can fix going forward. Overall, physics do seem to be working better. I did notice that in the firefight version, the gravity hammer had lost the physics, but I think that they're back. I feel like when I was using the gravity hammer in squad battle, it was doing a lot better. As of right now, I can't say, you know, I, I feel like this is better overall compared to what we were working with, but there's still a lot of work to be done so i can't really i've seen a couple takes say that you know the end of the desync era is over and stuff like that i just don't think that that's true and while i don't think that you will ever actually fully get rid of desync and latency and networking issues i do feel like there's a lot that needs to be done still to to make the game more enjoyable when you play and especially if they want to put this networking model in the ranked game modes where it's obviously the most important. Now, if you want to see a video that goes into greater depth, I'm going to link Mint Blitz's video in the description. He's had way more time to mess around with it than I have, and he also plays on a higher ping anyways, so it's probably best that uh, you get somebody's opinion like that because I play anywhere from 15 ping to sometimes I get like 100 ping, but it's very rare that it goes up that high. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.